Well, today, wrapping up another phase of a multi-year fuels reduction project in Parley's Canyon. Now, this project is a joint venture between the state of Utah, the Forest Service, Summit and Salt Lake counties, as well as the Salt Lake City Department of Public Utilities. This is a watershed area. These types of projects are done all over the state. This is an extremely visible one, though, to the public, given its location right along I-80. We first began working up in Lambs Canyon. Uh, the first year doing some uh, thinning of the uh, conifer trees up in the canyon to protect uh, cabins up there and up in Summit Park area. And then we've just continued to build upon that work the last few years. We've also done some stream restoration work uh, with BDAs in the stream, as well as um, uh, myrtle spurge control, which is uh, an invasive weed that's growing along the foothills. What does this mean for the future of that area if a fire were to start? What, what could this project help with in that sense? Yeah, so we're basically reducing the amount of fuel or wood or dead wood that's on the landscape and trying to break up how a fire would move through that uh, system. And so right now you'll see we have uh, these uh, track hoe machines working along I-80 and they have uh, mulchers on them that are thinning and mulching up the oak brush, basically just pop, uh, making uh, holes in the, the oak brush and opening up meadow habitat. And that's good for reducing fire risk. You know, fire comes through that, it hopefully will slow down as it moves through the, the green grasses and wildflowers that we hope to come up in those openings. But those openings also are really good for wildlife, that those grasses and wildflowers provide food for big game uh, like deer and elk. And they need that to build up fat stores so they can survive winters like we had this last year. We've been doing this work for about 15 years across the state and, and had lots of great successes. There's lots of examples of how going in mechanically uh, thinning uh, old, old, old growth trees can really bring back and invigorate the systems. And I think this project is kind of more visible than a lot of those projects out in, in the middle of the, the mountains or the desert. And so it's really kind of one of those first projects that's really visible along the Wasatch Front where a lot of people can see. And so I think it's a special project in that it can really help educate people about the need to do this work. So this project hopes to reduce the risk of wildfire, protect drinking water and improve wildlife habitat. So the Parley's Creek watershed provides about 20% of the water supply to Salt Lake City's residents. If you are interested in learning more about the watershed projects all throughout the state of Utah, this website, wri.utah.gov, shows the projected projects here proposed right now with about 121 projects right now in the pipeline. Currently 284 projects in the works and then they've done nearly 2,600 projects talking about the acreage treated and also the funding that was involved for all of this. If you're interested in the financials, as always, if you'd like to see more and check out some of the writing on this, it's on our website, KUTV.com.